Welcome back. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channel TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature, so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to show those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Well now to some of the pictures that you sent into our eyewitness portal. Uh, that uh, report we will bring to you subsequently, but let's move on to this story coming in from Delta State, where the governor, Ifanyo Koa, has received reports from the committee set up to resolve the land dispute between Alaja and Uwejo communities with a plea to the people to continue to preach peaceful coexistence in the area. Thanking the members of the committee, the governor said the next step will be to study the report and take the right decisions for a lasting solution. As far back as 1995, a boundary dispute had torn Uguejo and Alaja in Delta State apart, leading to destruction of properties and loss of lives, with December 2016 being the most recent. Now, there may be light at the end of the tunnel for the two communities with the submission of recommendations of the state government's constituted panel of inquiry to work out solutions to the lingering crisis. At the governor's instance, the parties are here. Governor Ifanyo Koa commends the committee, assuring that the report would be studied and a decision made in the best interest of the people. We were committed to ensuring that we have a solution. Our government said that in any such issues, we must be ready to give and take. And this is something I said will happen between the communities. Panelists speak on the different stages of the report. With both communities advised to stay clear of the disputed area, there is optimism that the existing peace will be maintained until the matter is fully resolved. In Ogun State, the governor, Bikunle Amosu, has reiterated the commitment of his administration towards ensuring a safe environment for living and businesses. Will strengthen the existing law of the state against kidnapping, courtism, and other social vices, the governor, during a walk in Abiyokuta, harped on the need for residents of the state to be law-abiding, promising maximum support to security agencies. The rise in cases of kidnapping in various parts of the country in recent months has become a major cause for concern for most Nigerians. This worrisome development is perhaps the reason why this group of protesters is embarking on a peaceful walk around the major streets of Abeokuta, the Ogun state capital in southwest Nigeria. The march then moved to the state secretariat, where they are received by the state governor, Ibikunle Amosu. We have uh, come up to partner with the 
of the state uh, police command to campaign against uh, these uh, menace because we just uh, know that Ogun State has been a very peaceful state and we cannot for any reason trade that off this state. Everybody that gets involved so when we have these uh, nasty experiences, you know, we have uh, some in local states and uh, yes, we have a law that uh, would deal, we come down heavily on whoever uh, gets involved uh, with kidnapping. Yes, we have not made it uh, a capital offense here, but we believe that even the law as it is, if it is well uh, implemented, should deter them from maybe going ahead with uh, this, uh, what I call stupid and criminal act. The protesters are happy to hear from the governor. However, they expect that the government will do more to reassure the citizens that it's on top of the situation. Well, let's switch lines for a bit with this story. For the past 11 years, inspiring patriotism, celebrating role models and promoting unity, it has been the thrust of a group called We Are the Future of Our Nation, WATFON. Well, our correspondent Mary Aladi Yusuf reports that this year's annual conference speakers encourages young attendees across several secondary schools to believe in their ability to transform the country. By their sheer numbers in this hall, it's clear that this meeting was organized for young people. Students from several schools have been invited for this event. When they settle down, the meeting begins in earnest with the theme that will run through the conference. We're the custodians of the future of what this world is. The resources you have mean that people are always going to look for you. We are resourceful as a people in our numbers. We are resourceful as a nation in the things that we have. Wherever the black race is concerned, you are the ones that will set the tone. Other speakers encourage the students to be problem solvers when challenges stare them in the face. So the first addiction is our addiction to excuses. And it's up to you, your generation, my generation, and the next generation to come on to change Nigeria for the better. We make a list of all the challenges. But then next to the challenges, we make a list of what opportunities for addressing those challenges. Those opportunities are actually business opportunities. Some of them are opportunities for greatness. For every problem that makes you angry, come up with an idea to solve it. In sharing his thoughts on the topic Love Nigeria, former governor of Cross River State, Leo Limoke, explains the importance of demonstrating love for country. The people, because we run ourselves down, we find it difficult to love. Do you look out for Nigeria? somebody doing uh, something bad or committing a crime and you say hey just like in school I need to make sure that I report this if you aim for nothing you achieve nothing some students have learned valuable lessons I have learned that loving Nigeria is patriotism I get to go out and look for problems that are in my capacity to solve and think of ideas and innovative ways to make Nigeria a better place than it already is Young people at this conference have been taught that the bright future of Nigeria they see is actually them and the success they would attain is in them and will be realized if they take the right steps. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News. And over 30 communities in Arumba North and South local government areas of Anambra State and another community in neighboring Abia State will benefit from the 10 megawatts electrification project of the Anambra State government. Covering over 47 kilometers, the project runs from Oji River to Arumba, supplying power to the benefiting communities for a minimum 18 hours a day. Men, women, youths, dance group and government officials all gathered at this venue for the commissioning of Owumba Electrification Project by Governor Willie Obiano. It is a day of joy for these communities as the State Commissioner for Public Utilities discloses that the project covers over 47 kilometers from Oju River to Urumba and it is a dedicated fender line that is exclusive to three communities. 
more than 47 kilometers. That is the distance. Distance. And it's a dedicated line. The Director of Operations in Ugu Electricity Distribution Company commends Governor Obiano for this initiative. It's not always that you have a governor that understands the fundamental importance of government and private sector partnership in social and economic development. You happen to be a scholar in that discipline, and I want to commend you. As I was coming along, I saw all the light bulbs were on. We have to begin to educate ourselves on energy conservation. The governor tasked the citizens to take ownership and safeguard the installation. Most of you, as I was told, have not had light in the past 11 years. Some, some have had partial lights in the last four years. Partial meaning it may come in today, then in another six months, you see another flash and that kind of thing. And I'm happy that uh, EDC, it's not me that said it, EDC has probably still 18 hours of uh, light a day. The average in Nigeria is less than 18 hours, it's about 10, 12 hours, but they are getting 18. This is very important. It is expected that these projects will improve electricity supply by Enugu Electricity Distribution Company to these communities. And when news across Nigeria returns, the acting president visits Kaduna State. Join us again.